been here East West. Just a quick little intra week supplementary video here. I'm just going to look at uh, URNM, URNJ, and also UEC. A couple of interesting technical points that we're just resting on here. So I thought I'd just point them out because I've probably missed them in my weekend video. So just starting off here with UEC. So we know we had this big downtrend channel, which we, we've sort of come through and defeated now. Uh, you know, we had this point here where we got above the channel, came down and tested it from above, and then we pushed on, which is great. So I've just joined this peak to this peak just to just to give us a bit of a sloping line, and we've just sort of come up, we've tickled through it, and now you know, obviously today we've just paused. Now, the one warning shot here, just in terms of um, going further in the immediate future, is is this just the RSI starting to dribble along the top here. Uh, it's a bit of an M formation, so it just looks to me like that rally might be starting to run out of steam. And that's not unexpected because, let's be honest, it's been great, no doubt about it, but it is, it's it's steep, okay? So that's not to say that this is done and dusted just yet, but I would have thought that it's, you know, this this particular rally. And when I say this particular rally, obviously I mean this one, is starting to get a bit long in the tooth, which, like I said, doesn't mean it hasn't got a little bit further to go. It can push up a little bit more. But I would just read this technically as being close uh, to having had enough. Now, the fact that we've got these free bars outside the Keltner channel, we came back inside it here, but we're just lapping at the top of it again. So I am, I remain uh, of the opinion that we're going to get some sort of correction, whether or not that be a sharp correction, which would be something more like this, um, you know, and that, that could tie into... Um, you know, these old resistance points and, you know, testing those to become support. Or we get something a little bit more sideways that where, where price doesn't really go anywhere, but we just need to digest a bit of time. So no predictions there. I don't know what it's going to do. All I can say is that when I see that steepness, I'm, I'm expecting some sort of correction. Now, the one good thing about UEC is that, you know, we've beaten quite a few of the initial important points. So we've come through the retracement zone. So that in itself is not, um, you know, a signal in the absolute bull signal, but it's very, very helpful for the market. Okay, even though this has done it very steeply, we came through when we sort of just just tickled through this peak. We've still got these ones to go, of course, before we get back to the all-time high. But this is just a a matter of box ticking as we go. So we've ticked that box at least. We've got above this pivot, so that's good. Um, I mean, Ichibuku wise on a daily, we're looking good. There's just this gap here between the Tenkansen and the Kaijin, and they don't like to be too far apart. So that's why I'm just looking at this thing. Okay, you know, there's a good chance that we correct. Now, coming back this far looks, well, look, nothing's impossible, of course, but coming back this far to test the cloud into the 50, the, the top of this cloud, look, it, you know, it remains a, a possibility for sure. But that would be the kind of area that I'd look for on any retracement. But like I said, this is a really strong market. So whatever sort of correction we get here, be it uh, flat or sharp, um, you know, the, a flat correction here where the market really can't even get anywhere um, below sort of this point. It just it sort of just stays in here. That's that's not unexpected. That, that could certainly happen. And then we would be thinking more about, rather than a price correction, we'd be thinking more about a time correction where time... You know, that, what would happen then is is the Tenkansen would just become pretty flat uh, and then the, this Kaijins and the slower would start to catch up. This gap would shrink and the market would come back more into balance between price and time. Just moving over to URNM here, and this is the downtrend channel that we've been in, of course, and now we've come through and beaten that uh, in quite a definitive manner, I would have said. Um, it's an impulse. Now, this is actually the lowest low. Okay, This low was lower than that low, so this is where we've got to start basing uh, what we see. Now, URNM has run into a very interesting area, okay, this being the peak up here. But where it's where it stopped, uh, the first thing you can notice is that we've got this area here of old support. Uh, and, you know, it's not un unlike, or it's not unexpected that this would become a point of resistance just initially, okay, because the market has memory. When you look left, you look at the old structures. This is where the market was held. Now, quite a few times, and then it broke. So as it comes back up, it's not unexpected that it might pause there. Okay, That's not to say that that's the top. It's going to crap out. It, it could just go straight through it tomorrow. Um, but I, I just look at the hard right edge. Okay, I'm not making any predictions. I'm just looking at the hard right edge, and what can we see right now? So what we can see right now is this also lines up right with the 50% of the way back. Okay, So that, all right? So th that's just, it's not unexpected that the market might pause here. Okay? Now, the RSI itself hasn't quite got to 
uh, the 70 level, but it, you know that's not, it's not obligatory that the market has to get above there. All we're looking at now is we can see the RSI is beginning to struggle, which means that uh, the market is starting to struggle to put in more bullish candles in relation to its recent history. It just means that it's running out of gas. At a very simple level, that's, that's just what that means. So is the correction imminent? Well, same thing here. I mean, we, you know, we're, we're within balance of, of, of price and time on the short term, but longer term, you know, because of the speed of this rally, uh, you know, price just needs to catch up to time. That, that's, that's what this shows more than anything, that price and time, when you've got a big gap like that, are out of balance a bit. But the fact that the market is pushed right through this cloud, and this was a pretty good daily cloud, we've uh, bursted straight through it and we've held above it. I mean, that's great. That, that is the bullish posture. Uh, but it's just about setting up for the impulse. Uh, sorry for the correction. And just looking at this, uh, to me, this doesn't look quite done. I mean, I'll, I'll you know be looking at this thinking, well, one, two, three, you know, maybe some sort of choppy four. It looks like it's got more to go to me. I don't know, but just just the way that that structure looks, it doesn't. I mean, you could sort of make a, an argument that that's five waves, but it looks a little bit out of balance. Uh, to me, it just it looks like it needs a little bit more to to be perfect, but. Things aren't perfect, and we just we have to take um, you know what the market gives us. We don't make predictions about it. We just go, okay, well this is what it looks like at this point. Um, so if it if it does do this, what are my expectations? You know, do I think the odds are greater that it goes up or down? So this is the same thing again. It becomes about if it's a sharp correction, or if we get more a, a, a time correction where we just do this, or once again, um, certainly not impossible that we just blow away straight up straight up further that, that, that's definitely not impossible that happens either I, I don't know I'm, <laughs> I haven't got a crystal ball I, I'm not trying to predict this stuff I'm just saying okay well this is where we sit what looks most likely at this point now some people might say well that's a prediction I don't, know. I, I, <laughs> I don't have a crystal ball I can't predict the market I'm just saying this is what it looks like what is the the highest probability but at always 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 it, it, it can go up down sideways it's the only three places it can go and I don't know which one it'll go now so far on this rally this um, the short-term cloud's done a pretty good job of holding price, so we're just sort of riding this uh, moving average stack-wise, and we're just getting this little bullish crossover now in the longer-term uh, moving averages. Now this is the 200-day moving average, so we haven't quite got there yet, but of, of course now we're above the 50, so that's that's good in the short term. Uh, so we will see if this holds. Um, I'm just thinking if this does crack, uh, you know, this will be the next point of call. But of course these moving averages, there's not a lot of distance between them so that you know what that means is in the long term of course that the trend is not yet established okay and that's what we might see okay so I'm just thinking in the in the in the medium term that we might establish the trend like that all right but we will see we will see I could be wrong on that I am all I'm, I'm often wrong as someone's been gleefully pointing out to me uh, in some of the comments that you're wrong you should admit it happy to been in the market long enough that I've had more serves of humble pie than most people have had hot dinners. Favorite dish, staple of the diet. So one thing that gives me just a little bit of pause, you know, and I don't know, but one thing that gives me a little bit of pause that maybe this might push us a little bit further is that the retracements are a little bit deep into the cloud, and ultimately, I'd like to see price just push up just enough so that any correction held that cloud. That would be good for me. So you know, I'd like to see. Even that, that, that'd be fine coming back to the 38.2 because that would show me that the market is, is very, very strong and that this rally is going to respect. Um, but, we, yeah, of course, we need price to push that a little bit further. What's kind of interesting is we've got this old peak up here, Let's sharpen that up. If the market somehow managed to rally all the way up there on, on this run, and it could, um, that brings the 50 right to the cloud. So that, that, that'd that be great. But, you know, it's, it's definitely not impossible that that, that sort of scenario could happen. So yeah, look, entirely possible. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure it's going to get this high on this run, but I've, you know, I've been wrong about the run uh, thus far because I didn't expect that it was going to pick up steam as quickly as it had. So I, I was completely wrong in my view. I, I don't think I was ever, you know, forever bearish, but I, I just thought that this needed a bit more time to to digest and get through. But it hasn't. It's 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 gone further and, and it's gone faster than what I was expecting, and I was wrong. Just moving over here to UR and J to the juniors here, and it's the same sort of phenomenon. And we've got this, okay? So, and you could even go back there. That's maybe a little bit low, but you have this little bottom here, and it's just sort of, you know, it's just flipping support, broken, just becoming resistance, which is right on top of the 50 once again. But we have defeated the downtrend for for the moment. 
So this one has me a little bit more betwixt and between because we've come up here and beaten the cloud, but you can just see the RSI now. It's just starting to bog down, which doesn't mean that it's going to collapse. It could, it could easily kick up one more time. And the thing about looking at this structure is this one, even more so than the others, looks incomplete. Right, so that to me does not look like a completed impulse. It, it doesn't. Here it looks good. One, two, three. This is is more synonymous with wave four. But, you know that I, I would be more expecting at this point. That that's just how I'd read this in isolation because this and that's just the, purely looking at the price structure of repeating patterns. That doesn't look like a completed five wave impulse to me at this point. But in saying that, you, you can't ignore the fact that the market's just starting to bog down. Okay, it is just running into those areas and it's just stopping. So yes, even though this doesn't look like five ways, we could get the correction, no doubt. Or, you know, we could just track sideways, continuing like that. So we will see, but this one to me, like I said, it looks less likely to be a completed five wave move. But, you know, I will just do as the market dictates. So once again, same sort of thing. This is really, really steep. All right, we can probably even channel that. No, it doesn't actually channel. So, you know, maybe we just pop up here and test it into the 61.8. All right. Oh, look, it's not it's not super clear at the moment, but it's got it's got a good formation. But I would think that maybe there's another top in here. But like I said, I don't know what's going to where this market's going to be tomorrow, Wednesday, Friday. We will see. I can just read what I can see right now. And that's what I would think. But warning signs. Same thing again. It's running into those areas. It's just bogging down. The overall market is just wobbling a little bit today, um, which is not unexpected, especially with the repricing we've had in rates. Uh, but nonetheless, it is what it is. We just we just take it day by day. So, same thing again here with the moving averages. Right, we've cleared the 50. We haven't got to the 200. I'll just remove this retracement. Uh, but we are riding the short-term cloud quite well. So let's just see if we can hold this. Uh, if we don't. Could just slip back down through here and then maybe come down and test this but this is quite thin uh so you know what might happen is we may break this this sort of trend that we've been in but you know and like i said i mean there's super sharp trend so that would not be unexpected or unwelcome really in my opinion and any retracement from here we don't know where we'll get to maybe we only get to here maybe we come down here this is the two uh this is the 50 so maybe we come back and retest the 50 which lines up with the 50 percent the 50 of the 50 something like that before we go on which you know i think we're going up again now this is just the first movement you know if you look at a big trend you know we could be we're just in here i think maybe all right so even in an early sense this is i think this is wave one so you know the stylized five wave move one two three four five something like that i think we're in this section so we've got a long way to go we're just putting together the building blocks as we go so that was it little supplementary video thanks for watching see you next time bye